standard eight math exercise six point four part three some number. Some number five. Find the least number which must be added to each of the following numbers so as to get perfect square. Five twenty-five. So now, two two is a four. One two five. Now we can have forty two two is a or forty three three is a. It is eighty four and it is one twenty nine. Forty two two is a. So yes, what we should do? Forty-two. Forty-two two is a eighty-four. So forty-one is the remainder. That means twenty-two square is less than five twenty-five number. So we must have twenty-three square here. That will be five twenty nine. We should find twenty three into twenty three, right? So five twenty nine minus five twenty four. Four is added. To make perfect square, Therefore, square root of five twenty nine is twenty three. We can find also by division five twenty nine two two is a four and forty three three is a one twenty nine. Clear first question, everyone. Clear yes, first sir. question, right? So, second one. Let me do it. Second one.
सेकेंड वन सेवन फाइव जीरो नाउ फोर फोर जा सिक्सटीन वन रिमाइंडर वन फिफ्टी नाउ एटी वन वन जा एटी वन एटी टू एटी वन टू जा और एटी टू टू जा विल बी वन सिक्सटी फोर विल बी ग्रेटर देन वन वन फिफ्टी तो एटी वन वन जा Sixty nine is the remainder. So what can I write? Forty one square is less than one seven five zero. Therefore, what should I do? Forty two square. Let me write forty two into forty two. So forty two into forty two. Four to the eight, four four to the sixteen, two to the four, four to the eight, one seven six four. Therefore, one seven six four minus one seven five zero, fourteen is to be added. Therefore, square root one seven six four is equal to forty two. Answer. Now third one. Two fifty two. One one zero. One. Now one fifty two. What I can do? Twenty five five is a twenty six six is a twenty five five is a one twenty five twenty six six is a one fifty six, which is greater than one fifty two. So we'll take five. Twenty five five is a one twenty five. Remainder will be twenty seven. Remainder will be. Twenty-seven. Therefore, fifteen square is less than two fifty-two. Therefore, one more. Sixteen square is equals to two fifty-six. Therefore, two fifty-six minus two fifty-two, four is to be added. When we add this number, four uh, two fifty. Two plus four, it will be two fifty-six, and square root of it will be sixteen. Square root of eight will be sixteen. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Third one. One eight two five. Sorry, fourth one. One eight two five. Now, eighteen means four four is a sixteen. Two two twenty five. Yes, very good. Thank you. Now, eighty one one is a eighty two two is a eighty three three is a eighty three three is a will be greater two forty nine. So eighty two two is a one sixty four. One twenty-two minus sixteen. That is six. Sixteen is the remainder. Sixty-one. Sorry. So forty-two square is always less than one eight two five. So one more number of square we will take forty-three square. Now forty-three square. Forty-three into forty-three. One eight four nine. Therefore, one eight four nine minus one eight two five. Twenty four is to be added. So square root one eight four nine 
is equal to 43 answers clear yes sir now fifth one 6412 so 88 the 64 will carry 12 now 161 ones are will be greater than 12 so what we will put zero so 12 is the remainder so 80 square is less than 6412 therefore 81 square 81 square is 6 5 6 1 let me multiply six five six one is a perfect square of 81 right so six five six one minus six four one two if we subtract eleven minus two nine Before six five five minus one that is four, right? Five minus four that is one. One forty nine is to be added. Therefore, square root six five six one is equal to eighty one. Is equal to eighty one. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sum number six. Find the length of the side of square whose area is four forty one. Now this is a square whose area is four forty one meter square. Now you all know area of square is equals to S square. L into L. Right, L square. Very good. That's what L is equals to root four forty one. Now, twenty one. Root root of four forty one by factorization method. By factorization method, six point one six point two. Prime factorization. Can we do that? Yes. Three zero one forty seven. Three zero forty nine. Seven zero seven. And seven the one. So it is three square into seven square. If we take root, it is three into seven, twenty one meters. It is twenty one meters. Clear, everyone? Very easy. We can find side. Okay. Thank you. If anyone is not getting, please let me know. Huh? I will explain it again. I will explain it again. Right? This is area of square L into L. We just have to take root of 441. A simple method. Now next comes law of Pythagoras. What is law of Pythagoras says? For any triangle, square sum of square of two sides is equals to square of diagonal let's check it out first equation in the right angle triangle abc Ninety degree. 
angle B. AB is 6, BC is 8 centimeters. Then we have to find AC. Now, square of sides of, uh, sum of square of two sides, that is AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. I think you all have learned this in chapter 7 of your standard 7 math. Pythagoras, right? Yes, sir. Everyone, yes, yes. everyone of you has learned this. So let's use it. 6 square plus 8 square is equal to A C square. Now see, 6 square is 36. 8 square is 64. So A C square is 100. If we take root, it is 10 square. 100 is a 10. Yes. Therefore, A C is equal to 10 centimeters. AC is equal to 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Let us do second sum of sum number seven. Using Pythagoras theorem. ABC angle B90. Now, here what is given? Hypotenuse diagonal. Hypotenuse 13 is given. Square of diagonal, or we call it hypotenuse. Hypotenuse 13 is given. BC is 5 centimeter. You to find. A, B. Let's do it. A, B square plus B, C square is equals to A, C square. A, B square plus B, C is? 25. 5 square. Yes. 169. 13. Very good. Very good. Sure. Thank you. A, B square plus 25 is equals to 13 square 169. A B square is equal to 169 minus 25. 140. 140. So A B square. 12. Is it, yes, 12 square. A B is equal to 12 centimeter. A B is equal to 12 centimeter. A B is equal to 12 centimeter. Everyone clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now last two sum. Very interesting. A gardener has a thousand plants. Right? Let's write down. Total thousand plants. He wants to plant this in such a way that the number of rows and number of columns remain same. So number of rows X number of columns X both are same. So total plant is equal to number of rows into number of columns. X into X, right? This is just understanding. Now, actual sum starts now. Find the minimum number of plants. He needs more for this. And how many minimum plant row and column banne equal thai jai. right let's do it we will divide or take a square root of 1000 3 3 ja. 9 
here we have to find how much to be added what what number is to be added 3 3 sir 9 now 61 1 sir so what we can write 31 square is less than 1000 so what we should do 32 square is 1024 therefore 1024 minus 1000 24 plant is to be added how many added 24 plant is to be added some is this this is just understanding for your reference only right now number 9 there are 500 children in a school Five hundred children in a school. For a PT drill, they have to stand in a such a manner that the number of rows is equal to number of columns. So, number of rows is equals to number of columns is equals to x. So total student is equals to number of rows into number of columns. X into x, x square. Now, take a square root of five hundred. Two to the four. Forty-two to the eighty-four. So, what we have to do? We have to remove sixteen students. Understand? How many children would be left out in this arrangement? Question is, kitla chokra arrange karwa ma baaki rahi jaye? So, four eighty-four arrange thay jaise. 16 student arrange nahi thai baru bar rakhwa pad right they cannot be accommodated in the pattern of l into l they cannot be accommodated in the pattern of l into l or x into x l 16 children are left out Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. 